Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Midnight Lab. Today, we are diving deep into what I believe is the most versatile and powerful AI image editing model available right now, Quen. Most AI models are great at generating images from scratch, but Quen is different. It's a large vision language model, which means it can understand the content of an image and perform incredibly complex and intelligent edits based on simple text prompts. It's a complete AI Photoshop in a single model, but the setup can be complex. So I've done the hard work for you. I've engineered a complete suite of seven powerful pre-configured workflows that unlock every major feature of this incredible model. This is the Quen AI Editor's Toolkit. Let's break it down. So I've been spending a lot of time in the lab with the Quen model, and I am genuinely blown away by its capabilities. To make it as easy as possible for you guys to use, I've created this amazing Quen workflow pack. It's a complete suite of seven powerful workflows, and each one is designed to be a one-click solution for a different creative task. I'm really proud of this collection, and I can't wait to show you what it can do. Let me give you a quick rundown of what's inside. We have Quen3 Image Combine, which can take two or three separate images and seamlessly merge them into one. Next up is Quen in Paint, which lets you magically paint anything you can imagine directly into your photos. The third one is Quen Resolution Change, allowing you to intelligently change the aspect ratio of any image. Then we have what I know a lot of you have been waiting for, Quen Clothes Try On, letting you dress your character in any outfit you want. After that, there's Quen Product Photography, which can place your logo or branding onto any object with realistic lighting. The sixth workflow is Quen Text Edit, a powerful tool for replacing and editing text directly inside an image. And the last one, which is just incredible, is my Quen Photo Restoration workflow. It can bring old, damaged photos back to life. In this video, I'm going to walk you through every single one of them step by step. So let's get started with the first one, Quen Image Combine. So the first workflow is the Quen3 Image Combine. This workflow is designed to take three completely separate images and magically merge them into one coherent scene. If you don't want to use a third one, you can just bypass it. Then you write a simple prompt describing the final scene you want to create. For example, I've just written, a man and woman are taking a selfie in a park's next are the models. You just need to load the main Quen model, and I've also included an 8-step Lightning LoRa, which helps to speed up the process dramatically. The clip loader and VAE are standard. Now, a new feature I've added is this resolution controller. It basically lets you control the final resolution of your output images from a simple drop-down menu. It automatically creates the correct latent size and feeds it to the sampler, making it super easy to get the aspect ratio you want. So with our prompt set, let's just hit run, and here are the results. As you can see, the faces, the composition, the way it's blended the two people together into a selfie, it's just perfect. Now, let's try a variation to show you how powerful this is. I'll change the prompt to, and the woman is holding a cat. Let's run that. And look at that. The woman is now holding a Persian cat. The man is still taking the selfie. It has intelligently integrated all three source images into one scene, perfectly. So that's the Quen3 image combine. As you can see, it's incredibly powerful for creating complex scenes. Now, let's move on to the next workflow. All right, next up is the Quen Image in Paint workflow. This one is incredibly fun and lets you magically paint any object or change any detail directly into your photos. The setup is simple. In the first load image node, you upload your source image. In the second load image, you upload a picture of the object you want to paint in. For this example, I'm going to take this black hat and paint it onto our model. The next step is to create a mask to tell the AI where to paint. You just write. Click the source image and select Open in Mask Editor. The editor will open, and you simply draw a mask over the area you want to replace. For us, that's the hat. You don't have to be super precise. Quen is smart enough to figure it out. It's okay if you overlap a little. Once you're done, just click Save from there. The workflow is fully automated. The models are all pre-configured, and you don't need to change anything. So, with our mask ready, let's just hit Q Prompt and see the result. And there you have it. You can see it has perfectly replaced the original hat with the black one we provided. The lighting, the shadows, the angle. 
it all looks completely natural. The workflow gives you four different variations to choose from, each with a slightly different look. This is an incredibly powerful tool for adding or changing details in your images. Now, let's move on to the next one, Quen Resolution Change. The third workflow in our toolkit is Quen Resolution Change. This is an incredibly useful utility for changing the aspect ratio of any image. The process is extremely straightforward. First, you just need to upload your source image. For this, I'm using a portrait style photo. Next, you write a simple prompt that describes the scene I've just written. A woman is wearing a white dress and sitting in a park. Now for the magic. All you need to do is go to the Flux Resolution Calculator and from the Aspect Ratio menu, choose the new shape you want your image to be. I'm going to change this from a portrait to a classic landscape ratio. You have tons of options here to choose from. Once you've selected your new ratio, you just press Run and there are the results. As you can see, Quen has intelligently outpainted the scene, expanding the portrait into a full landscape while keeping the character perfectly consistent. The face, the dress, the lighting, it all matches. The consistency is just incredible. This is a fantastic tool for repurposing your art for different formats, so let's move on. Next up is the fourth workflow, and it's one I know a lot of you have been waiting for, Quen Close Try On. This workflow is a virtual dressing room. The setup is simple. In the first load image node, you upload your model or character. Then, you can upload various clothing items. Here, I'm using a top, a skirt, a handbag, and a hat. The workflow automatically stitches these together into a single reference image for the AI to use. After that, you just write a simple prompt describing the final scene. For this, I've written, the woman in image one is wearing a top, skirt, and hat and holding a handbag. Fashion photography. The models and resolution are set up just like the others. You don't need to change anything. Just hit Q, and here are the results. As you can see, Quen has intelligently taken all the separate clothing items and perfectly dressed the model in them. The consistency of the model's face is fantastic, and the clothes look completely natural. This is an incredible tool for fashion concept art and virtual try-ons. Next up, we have Quen Product Photography. And this one is for all the designers and brands out there. This workflow is designed to realistically place your branding or logo onto any product image. Here, I'm starting with a clean image of a coffee mug, and I'm using my Midnight Lab logo as the second input. Again, the prompt is key I'm telling the AI very directly. Place the logo from image 2 onto the mug from image 1. Let's run it. And check this out. The AI doesn't just slap the logo on, it understands the three-dimensional shape of the object. You can see how it perfectly curves the logo around the mug, adjusting for the lighting and shadows of the original photo. It looks completely real. This is an incredibly powerful tool for creating product mock-ups and marketing materials. The sixth workflow in the pack is Quen Text Edit, and this is another incredibly powerful utility. This workflow allows you to intelligently replace text within an image, and Quen is smart enough to regenerate the area with perfect context. Here, I'm using a logo that says Shadow Assassin. In the prompt box, I'm giving it a very specific command, replace the text Shadow with Midnight and Assassin with Lab. Again, the models are all pre-configured, and we can set our desired resolution. Let's hit run, and check out the results. As you can see, it has perfectly replaced the original words with Midnight Lab. It understands the font style, the perspective, the gradient. It doesn't just paste new text on top, it rebuilds the logo with your new words. It's an amazing tool for designers and branding. And finally, we have the last workflow, Quen Photo Restoration. This one is genuinely magical. I've started with a very old, cracked, and damaged black and white photograph. In the prompt, I'm simply telling the AI to remove scratches and restore photo, and we hit run. Here are the results. You can see in the first set of outputs that Quen has done an incredible job. It's removed the scratches, fixed the cracks, and restored the original clarity of the photo. But we can take this a step further. What if we add the word colorize to the prompt? Let's just run that again. And look at that. It doesn't just restore the photo, it intelligently and realistically adds color. You can see the different color variations it produces. And if we look at the before and after comparison, the difference is just night and day. 
it's taken a piece of history and brought it back to life. So that is the full Quen AI Editor's Toolkit. Seven powerful workflows for almost any creative task you can imagine. The entire Quen AI Editor's Toolkit, including all seven workflows you saw today, is available right now on my Gumroad page, The Midnight Lab. I wanted to take this incredibly complex but powerful model and make it simple and accessible for every artist. The link is waiting for you in the description below. Go get the toolkit. Now I'm heading back to the lab and start making some new amazing workflows for you guys. Stay tuned. And thanks for watching.